Welcome back, everybody. Pursuit here, and I am playing some Techno Firmacraft. Um, let's eat a little sandwich here before I get going. Maybe have a little bit of water to drink. Um, it's been a while. Uh, I haven't done much recording here, more than just the multiplayer stuff. So, I'll tell you what's going on here. I have a new base, um, and it is located down here. South of the joint base that we had, um, the one that's up there. Uh, so I made my own little base down here. Got it kind of covered like we did in the other one with some bamboo. I've got some my quern set up. I've got a food prep, some fire pit. I've got lots of food coming in here uh, because if you see over, I'll just go look over here real quick. It's dark outside right now, so I don't want to go out there. Um, you can kind of see it from here. I've got a little garden here going out there, uh, which we'll go out and look at in a minute here when the sun comes up. Um, got myself some, I think it's called pit kilns. I always forget what they're called anyways, where you can, this bamboo acts as like, kind of like the dirt dove where you dig the hole. It was not too confusing here, but you can basically do it where you put the uh, clay that you want to make into something in here, you know, kind of like, you know, you stack it down and then you, put some straw on it and some and you put some wood over it and you get that going and make your pottery um so got a little area here going let's go upstairs real quick you kind of can see what's going there uh let's go up in the tree house before the sun comes up um i can i'm trying i did this so that i the zombies and what i can't follow me up here so go for the tree house look um, we got a little chest up here. We got some tool racks going. Uh, just some random items in here that I want to work with later. But this tree, as you can see, it's kind of like one of those trees. It is a sequoia. It's two by two. Uh, there's another one over there. Well, let's go ahead and hit up the top here. Um, hopefully it's not too dark. We'll have to light some of these as we go. There's one. Uh, I try to keep the leaves going here, so that's why it's kind of tight in here. Uh, the torches go out on you, because that's how this mod works. Uh, but up here we've got, keep going up, up, and up. Extra wood in there. Um, pretty good view, I think, though. There's the back of the base where the food prep stuff was. Main entrance is up there. You can kind of see it on the map a little bit too. Um, got the garden area. You really can't see the garden area very well from here. Most of them are far enough away that the it looks like it's just dirt because of the detail you can see from up here. Uh, but I'm currently working on a... Yeah, it looks like it shouldn't be able to hold me here, but it's here. Uh, currently working to connect over to this other tree, which I haven't gotten up there yet. Um, let's just put another torch here. I don't know what I want to do with this yet, but I wanted to connect to it. We probably, I'm probably going to fill in this area along here and down along here to make it into some kind of a big platform across here because I wanted a tree base. And then I'll have to do something about better lighting down there so we don't get, well, Probably got um, home base protection along here, but probably do some lighting anyways, just in case. How are we doing for sun time? It is 4 a.m. Not quite morning yet. I've been working on some of my skills here, my cooking, my prospecting, my butchering, agriculture. Got a little bit of smithing done. I made myself another axe uh, and this garden hoe because you need it to be able to properly tell when you're planting stuff down there. So sun is on its way up. You can kind of see the sunrise. Where's the moon? Uh, it's actually a good place to be able to check out where the sun and moon are. There's the moon. There's the sun. We can probably go down. Let's go down. Uh, so you can see there's what well, you can't really see, so you have to take my word for it, but down here We have water that does not kill us. There's actually plenty of area there. 
Um, here's a little garden area though. I've planted and replanted. We've got several different. Got some jute. We got some oats. Plenty of rye, squash. Oh, look, some mature bell peppers. Those are almost mature. We got plenty of things here that are. You know, there. I've replanted all this stuff over here. We unplanted some of it that was there. Um, we can actually let's combine this. We actually have plant replanted some of these over here, which should be fine. Let's just throw them down. Let them go because it's only July. I'll probably be able to get a second harvest out of this before we have to worry about it. Oh, we still got some trees that I need to replant. Some fruit trees. Um, I think there's a fruit tree over there somewhere. I'm not sure where I want my fruit trees. That's why I haven't planted them yet. Uh, that's what we got going there. And like I said, I don't really, I'm not a fan of doors. And I'm trying to make this a tree base. So for the time being, I don't want to put anything on the ground except for the things I already put, like this one, which I actually want to get up. Um, I'm planting these by doing, let's see, you can't put. Um, oh, there we go. You can't actually put them on the ground, and you can't put them on this bamboo either. So what I've been doing is, rather than doing it like that, I take a board. Let's just take one of these. This will work. Um, and you can't put it straight. You can't put the lanterns on the bamboo, but you can put it on there and then throw that up. This bamboo grows really fast, so it will fill in that gap right there and keep this place lit, you know. So, so we could probably use some more. Uh, we got a couple of ways to go over this kind of a hidden entrance there. You can also take the got these entrances across here. We put moss on top of these to keep them from growing higher. Uh, but we should probably let's see. We should probably water's okay all there. Um, we, Probably use a few more. Let's go ahead and do it. I could probably use. Oh, I don't have enough wood though. I think we're low on wood. Yep. Um, what do we got here? Goodbye tree. I've got enough pine here. Let's go ahead and chop down this tree. Um, is that going to be enough? I don't know if it will or not. We can plant more later though. Come on. Seven. That's enough. Um to do what I want to. I'm just gonna mark this where I want to put that back again. Because that ground's not good for planting on after it's been squished. Um let's grab a few things I want to do here. I wanna go ahead and throw some of these in to be show how this pit kiln over here is working. I want to make a few more of these vessels. Um, since I moved my base, uh, all the stuff I made before I just left up there, except for the immediate stuff that had on me. Kind of the shared area up there for all of us. So let's put this bell pepper away in here. We will formally put it away later. But I think for right now, I shouldn't have brought the hoe with me. But you know what you're going to do. What you gonna do? Um, yeah, I got two hoes on me here that I don't need. So, like I was saying, squat down and put these in place. Kind of a little picky there. Um, grab like eight, that's all you need. And I'll have to grab. I didn't want to grab either of these, but let's just grab this one. That'll work. Because that makes it shorter again. Um, throw this on here for my pit kiln. And put the wood on here. We'll go ahead and get this going. We'll go... Oh, no! Okay, so there's complications with doing it this way. There we go. If you miss the click, it's kind of easier to do when there's plants and bushes all over the place. So let's go ahead and throw on our 
starter. That'll get going. So that's how my pit kiln's working there. These bamboo, you're supposed to really put dirt around it like this or dig a hole in the ground, but these bamboo seem to work just fine, even though it doesn't look like it should work. It does. The other thing I wanted to do is, let's see, where is my, here's my grain. So the grain will keep better if I, well, those are already done. I already broke those up. Um, what I can do is... We'll need some of this to be turned into flour here for later. Let's go ahead and put it in there. We'll just do some of it right now. I don't want to do all of it. Um, so this quern here, you put it in there and you hit this. And it will grind it up. Oh yeah, now it's wheat flour. Then I got some wheat flour for later when we need to make some more bread because I'm currently out of bread. So that's what you do with that, and you can also pull off the, oh, maybe that's a rice here I can show you. Yes, the rice and the barley. If you take the straw out of them, I think they're supposed to last longer with, with the straw out of them, so you just get the grains, get the grains, and they're Ready to go. We pulled all the straw out, so that also gives us a bunch of straw. It gives like 22 straw, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I'm not keeping anything on here on the food prep area because I don't want to. Um, don't want my food going bad. It keeps better inside of these vessels. Let's put this vessel away. Let's go ahead. I think we've got sandwiches that are about gone, though. Let's go ahead and. Pull my two sandwiches out because sandwiches are nice and balanced meals. That thing's still going. Let's see how much time it's got. Five hours remaining. It's five hours game time. 20 minutes in a day, so that's really not going to be a whole lot to worry about. Um, let's go put the hose away. I made, I have two hoes, one for digging, because I really don't care about using it up. And I've got another, I've got this bronze one that I can use. One for making the furrows and one for checking to see what the level is. Um, so we're looking north. So yeah, right now the A's been used up on these. Got to be kind of careful what we replant, where we plant it. And now that I'm, you have to be an expert to do that in agriculture, which means I had to, Harvest a certain bit of crops before that popped up. Let's go ahead and put that up here on the side also, because we don't need those with us. How are we doing here? Anything else? That, oh, wow. Look at all these peppers. Let's go put some more peppers down here. Um, pretty sure peppers, those are new areas, so it's not going to be a problem. Check out all these. They're growing so nicely. Some other stuff in here later. I've already... Got some tomatoes and some beans and everything else. Go ahead and go back in here. And let's go make some food to eat, because I used up all my food except for this one sandwich that I got, and I like to keep like four sandwiches on me about. We let that kiln up there finish up. Um let's see, I went ahead and put two of these up here, like so. Um, these we can combine if we hit the S key, where they will combine into one. Put those in here for a moment. We will do something with them. Like I said, they do better in vessels, but I don't have any empty vessels at the moment. Go ahead and pull out the some bread, some onions, some cheese, fruit, and some meat. So we get a nice balanced meal here. We'll just throw all these in here. Let's see. Still doing okay. I got lots of vegetation. Let's put the vegetation on the three. We'll do meat and cheese on two, and we'll do fruit on one. Just make ourselves a few more sandwiches here. How does it say these sandwiches are looking? Um, you hold down control, and it says the taste. Very sweet. 
ridiculously sour, perfectly salty, perfectly bitter, and ridiculously savory. So I guess it's supposed to be better for you if you do it well. Um, based on your own character stat, which is based per game, so I don't really pay a lot of attention to it. It just kind of happens the way that it happens. So using up two ounces, three ounces, two ounces, two ounces, and one ounce of each of these foods um, is how that works. Let's put all these back in here. And since I'm out down here by myself and I don't have a, an excess of food, every time I'm done making some food, I just go ahead and throw it back in. Not what nobody else is counting on me to have food out, so I just kind of put it away. And when I need some more, I just come make some because it's really not that difficult. As long as I know where I put it and where I should get it later. I think we have. Do we, do we have an extra vessel? It's not quite done yet. Yes, we have another vessel. Let's go ahead and get this extra vessel. Oh, you know, actually, there's probably red and yellow. There's a red bell pepper. We can probably combine it with this one. Yes, we can. Um, and I don't think we can probably put the yellow one. I don't think I have a yellow one. Oh, I got lots of red bell peppers. They're all over the place. We'll just throw it in this one right here, though, with the onions. I'll sort the rest of those out later. You don't need to see me. Sorting all that stuff out. So my base is pretty rudimentary here. Um, you can make some weapons with clay, which would be the same, making the bronze. Um, I'll have to try and show some of that stuff later. And it looks like my pit kiln finished. So I got my... You can just punch them or you can shift click on them. Squat click on them. Um, so we've got some extra vessels in here. I will just kind of put them off to the side here so they will be ready for later. Keep a couple extra ones on me because you can carry good stuff in them. And I think we're doing pretty good. Um, I can drink out of this. I can, I can just drink right out of the water here, but fresh water. These will break occasionally, but it's not too... I've hardly ever had them break break on me so it's not a big deal so i will try and follow up here um i tried to wait until i had my own base going in order to show what's going on i was doing stuff with other people uh, but i think you'll understand it a little bit better if i'm making my own base and kind of just explain what happens as i go along here oh i've also got my berry bushes here apparently i got some blackberries nope not yet oh yep there they are some blackberries were on there cool Put those away. Uh, so I'll show you the tree later, and I'll let you know once I have more of my own equipment set up. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did by giving a thumbs up down on the video. Give me some comments as to what you thought, what I might be doing here. We'll go do some mining later. We'll work some metals later. We'll all sorts of stuff. I plan on making more videos with a little bit more of what's going on rather than just the joint videos, which I might kind of just mix them together depending on the time frames. I don't think it really matters if they're in succession with the multiplayer stuff. And subscribe for future content and favorite also. And I will see you in the next one. Now get on with your pursuit. We'll just try and find some nice squishy place to put this berry. Oh, here we go.